So the next course which we are launching is related to the competitive programming and this course is uh, for those students who are preparing for placements as well as for placements in companies like Amazon, uh, Facebook and Google and Twitter because we are going to cover the questions which are coming in those uh, you know, interviews preparation in interviews of those companies. So here you can see this is the entire syllabus which I have given and this is a broad way syllabus because here I just mentioned the topics or the chapters which we are going to cover. But in this uh, subsequent videos I am also going to explain you what are the topics which you are going to cover in those specific chapters. And these topics whatever we are covering they are mostly we are taking problems from uh, the basic concept problems from the Geeks for Geeks website. And a part of this we are going to take problems from the websites like CodeChef we have hacker rank we have other uh, websites where we do competitive programming so if see this code course is not only related to the uh, you know these basic com these companies even if you want to prepare for any company or even if you want to go for pl placement in your future or uh, any you know for the next 3 to 4 years if you are planning uh, for uh, career growth in your life and you are planning to have a career in as a web developer or a, as a software developer then this this course is really going to help you out so the total duration of this particular course is of six months that means we are going to cover the entire syllabus in six months but still we are going to give you access for the next one year those students who have already registered for this particular course or those students who want to join this particular course let me tell you this the complete syllabus of this course will be covered in the in the first six months for for, for example from the announcement of this course uh, today, today is the formal announcement of the course and uh, we will be covering the entire syllabus in the next six months but still we will be having the access to, to this course for the next one year so the first topics will be having a preliminary course before this those pre that preliminary course is related to the topics which you already covered in your gate examination or uh, in your btech for example some of the topics like uh, uh, there is a dynamic programming the basic introduction to dynamic programming which is having we just discussed four to five basic problems in gate examination uh, which are longest common subsequence we have subsets and problem we have a lot uh, matrix chain multiplication etc etc so we only discuss four to five problems in gate examination but still there are at least six to seventy such problems which needs to be discussed before you go for uh, comparative programming and those uh, some of those problems are very similar to each other but uh, some of those problems are going to introduce a lot of new concepts for you so this is just the basic introduction of the chapters that what are the chap chapters which we are going to cover and uh, there's a first there's a preliminary course this preliminary course is related to the basic introduction to programming which is related to your uh, data structure introduction related to the introduction to algorithms and c programming which you already studied so you can skip this part if you are preparing for this so then the next introduction is analysis of algorithm based on the time complexity criteria because there are different ways of analyzing a particular problem uh, analyzing particular algorithms so then we'll be discussing about the searching and sorting algorithms then there's a greedy algorithms still uh, as I'm telling you in case of gate we only discuss three to four algorithms but here we are going to dis discuss a lot more algorithms as compared to them so uh, just watch this video and uh, you will see that I'm going to discuss about each of these chapters in uh, greater details so most of the topics which we are taking that is from the geeks for geeks website there are a lot of topics which we, which are which they have already listed there is a great website but uh, we are going to take a lot of topics from that website and again we are going to add some topics from our end so that we can make this course as one of the best or most the best course which is available online so uh, then we'll be having a dynamic programming problems and we'll be having we'll be discussing around 50 to 70 such problems the you know for dynamic programming and uh, I'll s send you the list of the entire uh, problems then we'll be having a pattern searching algorithms then there are string uh, algorithms then we'll be having backtracking divide and conquer algorithms geometric algorithms mathematical algorithms after this we are going to discuss about the bit algorithms graph algorithms randomized algorithms branch and bound this branch and bound this particular topic is not in gate examination or also as well as the topics like uh, mathematical algorithms and geometrical algorithms these topics are not covered in examine uh, in most of the competitive examinations even the topics like uh, string uh, algorithms and pattern searching these topics are not covered so we are going to take these topics one by one and we are going to discuss about all the basics as well as the advanced uh, concepts in these particular topics 
then we will be having uh, puzzles on algorithms these are some standard puzzles which we cover and then we will be having uh, we will be taking problems from the code shelf that is beginner plus easy plus advanced level problems I, I guess uh, till this point of time you will be able to solve most of the problems in code shelf which are in beginner, beginner level and uh, we are going to take problems from easy and at medium level some difficult problems and then we are going to take the placement problems uh, from Amazon, Yahoo, Google, etc. etc. See, the main uh, con no, the focus of this course will not only be just the concepts. We are going to try it, the implementations of uh, each of these topics. So, we are going to implement the code of these topics in C, C++ or Java or whatever programming language we will be feeling necessary for that particular type. So, don't worry, whatever the basics which will be required, we will be explaining you those, those basics very thoroughly and if even if you don't have knowledge about java programming language uh, with this course we are going to provide the tutorials for java programming language you can uh, take the java programming language course separately or if you are registering for this course because uh, this course uh, uh, no uh, for competitive programming see what 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 is the uh, main benefit of this is there are a lot of topics a uh, lot of programs which if you make in c language then that, that will be very very difficult and that will be very very time consuming so you know, time is also very big constraint. Sometimes you have to make programs in a specific frame. For example, uh, last time I tried uh, some questions from Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter uh, uh, placement questions as well as from Yahoo. Now uh, they they were having some cr time criteria that you have to solve some certain problems in 90 minutes or two, two hours or so. So the time is also a uh, criteria. So that is why uh, we have to choose the programming languages very wisely. So some of the programming languages uh, like C++ are having a lot of concepts which are not in C language like STL etc etc. In the same way Java is also having some concepts which are not in uh, C++ or C language. So uh, most of the time we are going to program in C and Java. But if it is uh, necessary that uh, if uh, it will be difficult to implement the same programming C language then I am going to implement it in C++ and I am going to explain you the desired logic for that particular program. Okay, so let us do one thing. Let us first of all discuss about the basic. Uh, what, what are the topics which we are going to cover in these particular chapters? For example, in searching and sorting, we are not just covering the basic searching and sorting algorithms. We are going to add a lot more searching and sorting algorithms, like we have interpolation search, and we have even pigeonhole uh, uh, sorting and so on. So we are going to cover a lot of things as compared to whatever we have covered in gate examinations. Okay, so the gate examination, the syllabus in gate examination, just a pinch of this. That is a uh, you know, pinch of uh, salt in the entire sea. So the topics which we covered in gate, that is around uh, five percent of this particular course. All the topics which you covered in gate, I'm just going to cover all those topics here within the first prelim preliminary course, and then these courses, these topics will be having some advanced level stuff which uh, you will definitely like and uh, which will definitely appreciate for the throughout this course. Okay, so let us discuss with the first uh, chapter that is searching and sorting algorithms. I, I understand that you have a basic knowledge of uh, analysis of algorithms. That means we will be discussing about how to analyze the algorithms on the basis of time complexity and space complexities and what are the different methods of analyzing the algorithms because uh, we are not just measuring the time complexity and space complexity using asymptotic analysis. There are some other analysis which we also use to measure the time complexity and space complexity of the algorithms. Okay, so then uh, first discuss about the searching and sorting algorithm. Let us see what are the topics which you are going to cover in searching and sorting algorithms.